Hello everyone, welcome to Dollar Tree Tuesday DIY. So if you notice, I did not have a haul today, but I do have a DIY for you. This is something that I saw on Pinterest, and I was looking around for maybe another tutorial, but, um, so, I'm winging it. <laughs> so what we're going to be using are these cute little Dollar Tree little red truck bags. And we're going to be using some of these picks, and I'm not sure how many or all of them or what. We're going to be using some of these. We're going to be using the little stick to the plunger thing, the toilet plunger thing I bought a while back and showed you. And this was this She Wears a Crown thing, and I just cleaned this off. And what I did to clean it off with, I used pure acetone, and I put it in the sink. I poured acetone on top of it. And let it soak for about 10 minutes and then it just cleaned off. It's still going to take some elbow grease, but it was easy to get off. And then we're going to be using some Mod Podge. And of course, my brush. And I have already cut a few of these out just to see um, how it's going to work. And then I went ahead and made a bow as also to go on this. Now, <clears throat> so what we're doing is making a shovel. And so. <coughs> Um, I would normally use E6000 or something like this, but in case it's not going to be a permanent prod and permanent thing, I am just going to use hot glue. And so, um, now yesterday, if you saw my Happy Mail, you'll know that I got a new um, tripod, and that's what I'm trying to um, use today. I've been trying to figure out angles and different things like that to help um, so you can see better. You can see um, see if you can um, get a better angle when I do bigger projects and stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And I have my lovely assistant, Catalina, here. So, basically, let's get started here. I've been having some issues with the camera. Um, the thing came with a remote control, and I thought it was to be able to pause videos or whatever. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> it's to take pictures with it, but when it's paired with the Bluetooth, it kept cutting my video off. So to start with, all we're going to do is Mod Podge this um, onto our little spade here. This is going to be our shovel part. Now, to do this, I'm going to turn this over, and I'm just going to Mod Podge it from the back side of the plastic. And I'm going to try to keep it in the area that... I'm actually going to stick it to just so I don't and I am going to hear a good bit I don't know if my podge is going to work but we're going to find out together now this doesn't fit all the way down and that's okay because I am going to be putting flowers and stuff to cover part of it up so what I'm going to do is start at the bottom I'm just going to drag this and kind of line it up a little bit. And then I'm going to smooth it out. I'm actually going to take my bone folder. Whoops. Then I got from Gareth at Create Home G. And I'm going to run it across and um, smooth out any wrinkles that might be in there. It looks like it's sticking pretty good. I was kind of worried about it. And I am going to go over it with some Mod Podge on top. Just to kind of seal it in a little bit. I had debated about painting it. But my assistant over here said, no, leave it the same. Same thing with the rod. I was going to paint it as well. And she's like, well, shovels are plain, so we're going to leave it plain. Right, Catalina? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's kind of a rustic little project. And um, since I don't do rustic, this might be a giveaway. So I'm going to let this dry here. Whoops. Let this dry for a few minutes. And then I'm going to look at what I'm going to be doing for clusters. Now what I want to do at the top of this is sort of lay my picks down, like have my little picks like this. But I'm not sure like at the base of the, um, on the top of the metal. And then 
put my bow on top at the end of the stick here. So we'll see how that goes um, in just a few minutes. So I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to dry and we'll get started with the second part. Okay, so I think we're dried enough to move on. So that's what it looks like. Oops, sorry for that glare. That's what it looks like. So now normally I would use E6000, but um, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be permanent or not. So I'm just going to use hot glue for temporary purposes. So all I'm going to do is hot glue this to this right here. And um, I'm using the big jumbo glue gun because that new glue gun I have, <laughs> while it gets hot, it um, it just, I don't know, it leaks all the time and I'm not really happy with it. So I'm just putting a really big lob of glue down there in the middle. Oh, can you pick that up for me, please? Y'all, I burned myself so many times, y'all know that. And then I'm just going to stick this down in here like this and hold it until it sort of dries. Just want to make sure it's straight. Thank you. And I'm just going to put some more glue on the bottom of it. But this is something that I can totally take off if I decide not to, you know, use it or if I want to do something else with it later on. So, so we need to let this dry just a bit there. <coughs> and if you need some more security, if you're doing it this way and you're using glue instead of like E6000 or something, um, you can, you know, put a, uh, some ribbon or something over top of it just to give it some more um, stability or whatever. But I think, I think we're good. There we go. So now I'm just going to find a place where I'm going to put my flowers on here. My little wreaths on here. And I'm playing around with it because I don't want my Merry Christmas covered up. And I'm thinking that I might put it just above the sign right here. And we decided we wanted the Jingle Bells. We were debating about the Jingle Bells. And I wanted to pull these leaves out like this. So it's kind of kind of live like this. But I'm not sure about all these leaves right here. What do you think? I think I'm going to take some of them off. And just keep one. There we go. Like that. I love that cotton. The cotton kind of gives it that kind of country feel. So you just need to play with it and maneuver it around to what you feel like would be best for you. Like it? Yep. Okay, so I'm putting this one on the bottom. So I'm going to take some hot glue and run on the bottom of here. And then I may put some more on the metal or the bar, but I'm not sure yet. This is the one to go on the bottom. And I'm just maneuvering it around a little bit so that my cotton is not covering up my Merry Christmas. And then this one's going to scooch under here underneath that leaf like that. I'm going to pull this up and pull this up. And I can maneuver it a little bit when I get once I get it glued down. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, my help went home. <laughs> her mom came and got her. Okay, so we're just gonna do the repeat the same process. I was twisting around and finagling what I'm putting here and everything, and then I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this. Uh oh, new glue stick. So, I know you're not supposed to lay a glue down, gun down on its side, but I do all the time. Might get me one of these days, but not sure. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to remove, remove, finagle the 
pine cones and the little berries around. And I might actually put a spot of glue back there to hold them down. Having some problems in my fingers and hands today. I cannot even squeeze a glue gun. Okay. So we can do that right there. Try not to burn our fingers again. All right. Now we're in business here. And we're going to move this leaf out of the way. Turn it around. A little bit. Little jingle ball hanging out. So we can still see the Merry Christmas. So that's what we have so far. Really cute. Okay. Now we're going to work on this part. So now I'm going to take this one and get that glue off my table for it. Messes it up. I'm just going to glue this down like this. And then this is going to go on the top of it. I think it would be really cute. So I'm just going to add some hot glue to this. If I can squeeze it out. And then just hot glue that down right there. I'm using my scissors to help me hold it because that is hot. Just, just need to hold it till it dries pretty good. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the underside right there. And hold that side down. Alright, and then we're just going to take our bow, kind of re-fluff it. I didn't have much of this left, so I just made a smaller one. And I'm just going to put it right here. Turn this over. And I may hot glue it, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to put it on and, and tie it like this. And this is just the leftover pipe cleaner from tying the bow. That's what I tied my bow off with. That's pipe cleaner. Just run that down the back. So, I then straighten it out a little bit. Let me fluff my bow. There we go. Okay, and that is our shovel. How cute is this? Let's see if I can get it all in there now. There you go. I just think that is really, really, really cute. And you'll see a picture of it on the thumbnail. Let's see if I can raise it up, the camera up, just a wee bit. So you can get all of it in there. But anyway, I just think this is really cute. You can see it laying down. And it was really quick and easy project, and everything is from the Dollar Tree. So it cost me one, two, these were 50 cents a piece, three, 50, and I already had the ribbon in my stash, so, but it was from the Dollar Tree. But anyway, yeah, so about four dollars or less, and you have an, a cute little thing, and I may use this in another project I haven't decided yet. I may give it away. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Dollar Tree Tuesday DIY. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the bell. Thank you for joining me. God bless. Bye-bye.